I found the easiest way to become a flight attendant. Wizz Air Airline offered me a cabin crew position within just two days. On 16 of June I applied and on 17 of June after the final interview I already received congratulations from the recruiter. I haven't decided yet whether I will accept this offer or not, but what I know for sure that I would like to share my experience of attending this recruitment event with you. For those who don't have flying experience, this is the easiest airline to start your career. But before we continue, I kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you are interested in flying career. Your support can encourage me to create more content uh, that help others to achieve their flying career goals. All right, let's start with a short company introduction. I learned about the Wizz Air recruitment event through an Instagram ad. It is low-cost airline that at this moment is actively hiring uh, because they plan to expand their fleet. Uh, the headquarter is located in the Budapest and uh, they mostly fly all across the Europe. Unlike other airlines, uh, Wizz Air has a lot of bases and as a cabin crew, in some cases, you can choose it. Also, um, this airline is mostly operating the turnaround flight, so you will not have layovers, most probably. However, you will still have staff tickets, uh, which allows you to travel and explore the world during your weekends. I think we can discuss the pros and cons of this airline maybe in another video, and today let's more focus on the recruitment uh, process. Stage 1. Online application. Open the website, learn more about the requirements, choose the recruitment day and apply. The application form is not difficult, just have your photo and CV prepared, the rest are regular questions. And also, as I already mentioned, uh, I applied just a day before the recruitment event because it was held in the same city I live in Batsumi. So I was not sure how quickly they will consider my application. But surprisingly, I have received invitation right after submitting the form. Stage 2. Arrival and Orientation At 9 a.m. I arrived at the designated hotel and here is the most interesting part that begins. Can you guess how many applicants came to attend this recruitment event? Only five, including me. This is insane. I have never seen anything like that. However, the small group size allowed us uh, to get to know each other more quickly and right after the beginning we became a team. Around 9.20 the recruiter invited us to the conference room and explained the agenda for the day. And after the short presentation we were asked to leave the room. Stage 3. Self-introduction in two minutes. Nothing special about it. You enter the conference room and stand up in front of both recruiters. They don't interrupt or ask questions. You're free to say about yourself whatever you want. And uh, this is individual task. Other participants cannot hear you. At this stage, all of us were successful in advancing to the next round. Stage 4. Role play. It is also an individual task. You enter the conference room and choose a ticket with a specific uh, role play scenario. One of the recruiters will act as a passenger and you will need to play a role of the cabin crew. In my case, the situation involved an 80-year-old woman who realized during the flight that we were landing in Paris instead of Rome and um, where her family was waiting for her. So honestly, I personally think I did not perform well at this task, but the recruiters assessed my performance and uh, allowed me to proceed to the next stage. It was really fun. The only challenge I faced was forgetting some important English words. So for those of you who are non-native speakers like me, it is important to continuously improve your language skills. Therefore, I decided to work on improving my English as well, uh, as I believe that uh, those who are fluent in English uh, can be more confident uh, during the interview and uh, definitely have an advantage. After the interview, I started researching how to improve my English, especially for cabin crew purposes. In fact, uh, currently I'm writing a book about it, and this book will include the dialogues between uh, passengers and cabin crew in the most challenging situations on board. I believe if you learn it, your flying career will be much, much more easier. 
Also, the book is not completed yet. I will provide the link to purchase it as soon as it's been done right below the video and regarding the role play stage unfortunately one of the participants was eliminated afterwards mainly because uh, he appeared very tired uh, due to lack of sleep before the interview stage five group discussion this task was really interesting four of us sat in a circle and the recruiter gave us instructions one person read the task and we had 10 minutes to discuss and decide which 8 people out of 14 to save from a fire. Each person had a name, age and occupation. Those not chosen would not survive. We agreed to save the youngest. Then the recruiter asked us to name the participant we believed was the leader and who should be eliminated. That was really unexpected, Leia. It was easy to identify the leader, but selecting someone for elimination was tough because we didn't know the reason behind it. So I chose the leader to be eliminated because I thought he was in a safe zone. One guy from our group was uh, selected for elimination twice, so the recruiter asked him to present the group decision. I really liked the way she was listening and noting our answers. I can say both of the recruiters were amazing. By the way, the company provided us with uh, hot and cold beverages, snacks, pastries, sandwiches, fruit and berries, and so on. I really like that it was so caring and the best part of it that all four of us were successful to the final interview. Stage 6. Final interview. Mine lasted 18 minutes. I was asked why I left Qatar Airways, if I plan to live in Georgia, what are my strengths, uh, what is my opinion on the most three important ingredients of perfect customer service, if I have uh, dealt with uh, challenging customers and how I handle such situations. So there were many questions, but since the entire day went very smoothly, I really enjoyed answering them. After everyone was done with final interview, we were invited to the conference room for uh, another presentation about the Vizair cabin crew benefits and duties. We were allowed to ask questions, so it felt more like a chat with recruiters. Toward the end, I asked when we will get to know the results, and one of the recruiters answered that uh, in three minutes. So eventually, all four of us were selected to become a cabin crew and join with their team. And uh, by the way, uh, in terms of nationalities, uh, two of us were Georgians. Uh, one guy was from Turkey and I am from Kazakhstan. And uh, as per recruiters, both of them were Georgians. One is based in Abu Dhabi and another in Kutaisi. That's it. Mm, I really enjoyed that recruitment day. Also, the role play stage was really tough. Uh, I still like it. And uh, if you are interested in joining with Air airline, leave me some comments. Uh, maybe in another video we can discuss its pros and cons. And if you have opportunity to attend the recruitment event, I encourage you to do so. Because, for instance, when I joined Qatar Airways, I had been flying with Air Astana just for a few months. So you can start your flying career with Wizz Air and later on continue in another airline. All right, enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. Um, thank you for your support. Good luck. See you.